Frame 3D. Um, I'm back again with another video. And uh, in this video, we will be going to Maker Faire, uh, New York Maker Faire. So I'm very excited. I'm going to talk to a bunch of people. And uh, I even 3D printed a little name tag. Uh, it says Riley on it, dual extruded. And then, uh, yeah, this is the first time you've got, you guys are seeing what I look like. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, and I also, uh, I have little uh, things, little uh, business cards. So, I can hand those out to people who want me to print things for them because I don't have three hubs because I don't do PayPal. So, I, I wish I could do three hubs. So, I just have my own site where I print stuff for you guys. So, um, I'll be handing those out to people, and hopefully I'll get some new business from there. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to take you guys on a tour of all the little 3D printing things. Probably bring my GoPro to do this. I'm about to leave. I don't know, like, maybe not about to leave. I'll leave, like, in an hour or so. Um, two hours maybe, because it doesn't start until 10, but, um, yeah, I'm very excited for this, and uh, I hope you guys like this video. So first, I'm going to go over uh, what companies I saw. So I saw some filament companies. I saw Colorfab, uh, and I got some of their filament. I'll show you that later. I also saw BuildTech. I'm thinking about uh, getting some of their uh, products for my printer bot, or maybe my tube, or... I may be getting Flash Forge Creator Pro, so stay tuned for that. Um, I also saw this uh, cool, like, Arduino company, Sentry Gun thing. Um, and I saw MakerBot, of course, uh, and Full Spectrum Laser, uh, Wasp. They actually had some really big printers, it's pretty cool. Um, these here. And then I actually saw this really cool um, company called like Olo or something, and it's an SLA printer that's $99 and it uses your phone. So you put your phone on the bottom, you put this little box on top of it, and there's a little screen, and then you put the resin in, and it uses an app to cure the resin and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, Dremel was there, so that was cool. Um, yeah, he's on the ground now. Um, I also saw Form Labs, and they just released the Form 2, which is a really, really cool printer. And uh, I, I saw some of your tough resin, and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, Matter Hackers, I saw them, and I looked at their um, Matter Touch Control. It was pretty cool. Ultimaker, of course. Uh, saw Ultimaker, looked at their printers. And then Protopasta, I really loved seeing Protopasta there, and I got some new filament. We'll see that later. And then uh, XYZ 3D printing. Uh, so I saw their printers. They have a new printer that's being released. It's, uh, I think it's called the Noble, or I don't know what, it, what it's called. Uh, it's somewhere in here. They actually went open source on the day of Maker Faire, Saturday during Maker Fair, so uh, yeah, they're releasing an SLA printer. I saw a Gigabot, they have, they have giant printers, uh, Up, they have a new printer, Upbox, that's being released. And then I met, the, I, I saw this cool filament company called uh, Polymaker, and it's a pretty cool filament. Um, I mean, it's not the coolest, like Colorfab, they have great exotic filament, but they had some interesting ABS and PLA materials, they had some Hollywood material and dissolvable filament and flexible uh, materials. So that was cool. Um, I also saw a company called New Matter, and uh, the creator came from Caltech, uh, University of whatever, you know, College, California. And they have a printer called New Matter. It's very cheap, and uh, it's like $210, and I saw it there, which was pretty cool. Um, Let's see, I also saw, um, I saw much more companies than this, these are just the flyers I had on hand. Uh, one 3D, it is a 3D printer, a 3D scanner, uh, 
it is a CNC machine, uh, food like paste extruders, and uh, Touch Pro photo trigger, five axis tool head. It has everything. So that's going to be released sooner. Or it's going to be released later in the year, and you can get a bunch of different attachments for it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now I'm going to show you the things I got at Baker Fair. Once again, I'm sorry for the background noise. Uh, so let me jump back into this. So the first thing uh, that I got from Maker Fair, I actually didn't pay for. Someone gave uh, this circuit board to me uh, to test out. So I'm going to explain it. So I was at this stand, and the guy there made replicas of 3D printers uh, that were half the size of the original model. So he had this tiny printer bot that he made it was like this big, so it was, it was very small, and uh, it was really cool. So I kept on talking to him and told him that I built a printer before, I love 3D printing. He was like, well, you should test this board for me. So this is, it's basically the circuit board for the printers he was prototyping. It uses an Arduino Nano, uh, and it is just a controller board. So it's like a ramp board, except uh, it's much smaller. So, uh, he wanted me to test this out, uh, sadly I cannot because I don't have most of the components for it, and actually this Arduino Nano I just had around, and uh, he told me that it uses that, so I'm not even sure how to program it, plus it doesn't have any of the other components that he needs for it. So, um, now I'm gonna show you the other things that I got. So, first let me get this. First. All, I got some protopasta stainless steel filament, uh, right there, so stainless steel PLA. Can't wait to start testing this out, I'm gonna see if it polishes as well as they say it does, uh, and I'm gonna compare it to copper film. Um, so this feels, doesn't feel so much like metal, but it, they say it turns out it looks like it was casted, so I'm gonna have to see if uh, it's true. So next thing, next thing that I have is uh, it's some bronze film. So I already have copper fill filament. Oops, this is uh, coming up. I already have some copper fill from Color Fab. So this is uh, it's just bronze film. It's metal filament. It's bronze. It's heavy, and it just is a different color. But I'm still going to polish it using a rock tool. Alright, so um, the next thing I got was, uh, this was a sample, it's actually carbon fiber PLA from Protopasta. The guy actually got it confused with ColorFab XT filament for some reason, because they were at the same stand. Uh, so he got it confused, but I ran it through the extruder of my printer bot at 195 degrees Celsius, and it, it worked fine, so uh, yeah, he just messed up. So, um, that's basically it. Um, now I'm actually going to show you uh, some photos. So, I actually met Brooke Drum, uh, I also, and it was really cool talking to him. I showed uh, him a bunch of my projects that I made. I showed him my VR headset, uh, a lock that I was prototyping, and uh, a tank that I modeled in Maya. So, it was really fun meeting him. And, uh, yeah, I really, I really really fun time at Maker Fair, and uh, I can't wait for next year. Alright, so that's going to be all for my uh, for this video, so thanks for watching. Uh, please support me on Patreon, and go to my Thingiverse page, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.